Hey guys, Kyle with Lone Peak here. Um, I wanna do a quick walkthrough. This is actually the walkthrough that we'll do with you guys when you come pick up your rig. I wanted to do this on this rig because one, it's it's birthday, which is pretty awesome. It's a 23 Taco, six foot. You wanna kinda of come over here, Keisha, and just kinda of show. We can also cut to some other footage I did. Um, this looks good, and this is a good representation of kind of a base model on the outside. We don't have the diesel heater port, we don't have the side lights. We don't have the rear lights, but we do have load bars on top. You can kind of see what it looks like uh, with the profile. He could actually open a sunroof, which is something that we didn't uh, know if that would work until we tried it. So that's good. Um, come to the tailgate with me. Um, yeah, no, no rear lights, no window delete in the back. Um, so yeah, let's, let me show you how to open this thing. I'm already getting ahead of myself. So this, these are the latches up here. They're adjustable tension, so if you if it's too tight, you can actually spin these. They're Loctited right now, so you have to break the Loctite a little bit. Uh, and these just hold the whole thing shut. This is where grab handles are really nice. You might order those later, but they're super nice to be able to hold on and get yourself up. Oh, one other thing. We'll get a shot of this later. It's a white roof, which looks gorgeous, honestly. So gas struts open this thing up. There's a little bungee here. Kind of holds the tent material in as you close it, which we'll go over later. I put the bungee right along the base of the tent. That's kind of its happy spot. Again, this, this move here is nice with a grab handle. I'll try to do it without it. Dodge the rear window. And then uh, I'm gonna jump inside, unzip the tent, and then show you guys how the, the rear tent extension snaps into place. All right, once you're inside, you're gonna push this little net out of the way, which just keeps the tent from drooping down into your bed. This is the rear tent extension assembly. You're gonna snap it into place. These little latch pins will snap and lock. So you push them till they lock. Well, from the factory, we ship these so that they're easy to push in. If you want this tent to be a little bit tighter on the roof, you can adjust it with this screw right here. You can see there's a slot. You can loosen this, push the tent assembly a little bit more and get more tension on it. It just makes it a little bit harder to snap into place. So one thing to note, let's see what else we got on our list. It's the bed next. Okay, so the bed, uh, super comfy by the way. Really happy with how that turned out. The, um, all you do, it's on gas strut, so you just lift it up. It's pretty simple. One thing to note when you're putting it back down, you wanna make sure that your tent is kinda of tucked up. And then you also wanna hold on to it because when you get to this point here, your gas struts aren't gonna have any force on the bed and so it will drop on its own weight. So just kinda of help it down. Um, let's see what else we got on our list. Review interior accessories. This guy is fairly bare bones. We have the light up here. This is what the inside looks like with the white out and the black in, which with the light, it looks pretty good. All right, one more thing before we get the juice box. Um, you can get out from the inside of the camper. Pretty much anything on the camper that's red means that you can touch it, you can use it. Uh, it does something. So this red button you push down and then you can open up the door. You have a little handle here for closing yourself in. If you do lock the doors, you wanna do that obviously from the outside and close yourself in. And then you might be wondering, how do I get out? Um, this red latch won't, <coughs> won't work anymore. You have to push on the actual latches themselves. Get both of them. That also lets you out. So if you're locked in, don't worry. That's how you get out. All right, let me show you how to turn juice box on. You wanna press and hold this top right button for two and a half, three seconds. This guy's hooked up to a 12 volt power source. I'm gonna turn the tailgate light on so we have a little bit more light here. Um, one thing to note is that this takes 12 to 15 volt power sources. If you have a battery that is over 15 volts, I think some Renegies were like 17 volts for some reason, let us know before your install so that we can change your resistor. Uh, we just limit the max voltage so it doesn't fry our electronics. Um, I have the app currently open. 
So make sure you have power connected to juice box. Make sure it's turned on. We're just gonna connect to it. Tailgate light's already on, but I can switch the color to amber. Tent light, you can't really see in there, but we can turn it on, switch between amber and white. Um, this build doesn't have, well, we don't have an awning yet, but it doesn't have the roof fan, the diesel heater port, light bar, side lights, backup lights. Uh, AUX basically turns on your uh, USB port that's built into the side of the camper. Um, so if you want to, you can wire other things into these channels. The fuses are all accessible if you want to change the fuses, and you can also change the names of these. So if you just wanted to say this is some sort of other light, uh, you can change it. It's not gonna change it on the hardware itself, but it'll change it on the app. So this is really juice box. Um, with your build, we're giving you a 10 foot cable that will mount directly to juice box. And then it's kind of up to you to wire it up to whatever battery of choice you have. Let's see what else we got here. Um, I don't think we have a ton of ex exterior accessories on this guy. Maybe let's walk to the front and we'll just show what the roof looks like. We'll show the load bars. Are you able to pan up to the top here and just kind of show people what that looks like? There we go, beautiful. Perfect, so the load bars, you can, you can slide anywhere on the roof. Uh, you can add more, so if you want to distribute a load, um, I was actually getting some metal roofing the other day and I had three up there and had 14 foot pieces of metal roofing on the top of my camper. So super nice. Um, that's all for exterior accessories. Let's go back inside. Uh, one thing you want to know is before you close this rear tent extension, you want to pull the red pins. So pop those out, make sure they're in disengaged and then you can actually close up the camper. All right, in case you couldn't see it earlier, this is the bolt that you need to adjust if you wanna adjust the tension on the rear. You can also play with the lateral position of this to get the tension of the roof to your liking. Uh, this is what you wanna pull to actually close up the camper. So I'm gonna pull it, and get it out of position a little bit, and then I'm gonna pull my other side. And the rear is able just to fall back down on top of the bed and then you just put your your bungee back into place all right close closing up i'm gonna do the same thing i like to get this bungee as high as possible i'm gonna grab my strap kind of just use my body weight to pull it down and then we do something called a double tuck on the sides this does tuck a little bit better if the, the windows are all zipped up, but I stick my arms in. Beautiful. Closes up like that. Close your latches. As far as closing your tailgate, kind of depends on the model. If your tailgate has a lip on it, a lot of times we'll close the tailgate first and then close the camper. Sometimes you have to close them together, kind of figure out what works well for you. One thing we haven't gone over is that the seal on the tailgate is actually adjustable. So if you wanna fine tune the seal, we got these five fasteners here you can loosen up and raise or lower about three eighths of an inch. So I think that's it, I think that's all. So any questions at all, reach out to us at team at lonepeakoverland.com. Thanks for watching.